blood pressure control in 90 days. Today we're going to talk about the 90 day blood pressure hack. There are only three things you need to know about blood pressure. The first thing that's important about blood pressure is the thickness of the pipe and the sediments in your veins and arteries. So quick idea, if I had a pipe or a vein this size, it's easy to blow through it. A smaller one gets more difficult, smaller. You see my cheeks are going up and then a very small one. So the smaller the size of the pipe, the more sediment in the arteries and the veins, the higher the blood pressure. Okay, so we'll sort that out. I'll give you the solution at the end. The second thing is the flexibility of the wall. The wall of the arteries and the veins. So this one, for instance, it's very hard. So when you put some water through there or you blow, you're blowing against the solid wall. Okay, but like in a balloon, the first time you blow up the balloon, It needs a bit more effort, but when the flexibility improves and you've blown it up once or twice, so it's enlarged, it's much easier to do it. So the flexibility of the wall is important. If it's solid, the pressure is high. If it's flexible, the pressure is low. This is a thin, fast flowing river. That's a bigger dam or where the river gets bigger. Lots of volume, low pressure. The third thing that's important for your blood pressure is the thickness of the blood itself. The blood that passes through the veins of the arteries. If it's thick and it's got lots of larger molecules as opposed to small molecules, the pressure will be higher, the pressure is lower. So you really have to decide, are you going to have blood that's thin, like water, a bit bigger and stickier? like oil or like a syrup or at worst case like butter and that is the reason why it's bad to drink cold drinks because it freezes it freezes the fat in there so what do you have to do i'm going to show you a last one quickly there's a bit of water i put some olive oil in it and you can see the olive oil is floating on the top I can try, I can try and mix it up. Let's see what happens. It goes around for a little while and then it floats to the top again. So if you add a good oil or fat, this is actually coconut oil. I put some of it in. Fat washes fat. You clean bad fats and oils with good fats and oils. Have a look. Now it dissolves, the blood becomes thinner and it's easier to excrete and take this out of your system. So the solutions, the first solution for the thickness of the pipe, you have to scrape this rubbish off. This rubbish has to go out of your body. You do that with soluble and insoluble fiber. I had this when I was 30 years old, my blood pressure shot up to over 190 on 140. I studied, I researched, I spoke to specialists, and that's the solution. Get it going, get cleaning out with the fiber, the soluble and insoluble fiber. The second thing, the second thing we had was the flexibility, the flexibility of the walls. What you need for that is enteric coated garlic allium complex. Enteric coating is the most important because most of the garlic, if you eat it, will be destroyed in your stomach by the hydrochloric acid. If it's enteric coated, it goes through the stomach undigested. In your colon, it will release and even up to the cecum where it's required. The third thing that we had was the thickness of the blood. The thickness of the blood's important. Remember I say you wash fat oil with oil? Here we go. Vitamin E wheat germ oil wheat germ oil vitamin e wheat germ oil all these products i've mentioned you cannot buy them in a shop they are pharmaceutical grade nutraceuticals you can only buy them 
from a supplier. So if you want more information to sort your blood pressure in the next 90 days, contact me and I'll put you in contact with the suppliers closest to where you live. You've got this.